It's the 6 p.m. News Report in full color with Dick Wallach, Dennis Anderson, Doug Duncan, and Jack McKenna. And now the news with Dick Wallach brought to you by Northwestern Bank of Commerce. Good evening, everyone. Duluth's spectacular skyline was turned into a chalice of fiery orange last night as yet another costly fire hit the city. Dick Gottschall has a report. The blaze was reported about 11.50 last night by a roving police squad on patrol. They spotted flames shooting through the roof of the Fullerton Lumber Company at 48th and Grand in West Duluth. The fire department responded from their number eight fire hall less than two blocks away, but in the space of three minutes, the flames had raged out of control and were rolling skyward in thundering drums of orange. Firemen moved in with their hoses only to be driven back time and again by the intense heat and the flames. For a time, the fire threatened to spread to the overhead railroad trestle and back toward several homes near Shopper City. There was no stopping the blaze once it gained control of the lumber warehouse. Firemen had to retreat with their trucks and equipment to keep them from being burned on occasions. Number 8 truck, in fact, received a scorched paint job from the flaming building. Crowds gathered at nearby Memorial Field just across Grand Avenue and even tried to help the firemen with their equipment. Ten off-duty firemen were recalled to service to man the headquarters fire hall and in all eight units were used to bring the five alarm fire under control. This was the fourth major fire of the week and combined to push Duluth's fire loss for the month of March above the entire total for a year ago. Other fires were at the Peterson Brothers warehouse which rekindled briefly this afternoon, American Linen Supply and the Morgan Park School. A mini-skirted girl was seen running from the area of the fire about the time it was discovered last night. This morning, Fullerton lumber was a sodden mass of rubble. What remained was a charred jumble of lumber and building supplies along with some light equipment. Workers plowed through the water-soaked interior, poking and prodding, while Fire Warden John Ostman made no official estimate of loss, but was there at the scene. It is expected to exceed $150,000. This is Dick Gottschall reporting. The investigation is continuing, but late today, Duluth police reported they have no suspects in the Fullerton fire or the Morgan Park blaze, which has been blamed on vandals. Morgan Park High School, the scene of a quarter of a million dollar fire last weekend, received some attention of another kind today. Teachers, parents, and over 80 eager students were on the first shift cleaning up the charred interior of the high school. The students were part of nearly 400 volunteers that flocked to the school assembly this morning, so many in fact that Principal Mylon Courage, a Morgan Park graduate himself, had to set up two shifts. Dennis Anderson was at the school. It's been overwhelming. We've had a uh, number of people have offered their services, volunteered help. A number of organizations within the community have just, just been We've been overwhelmed with the number of people that wanted to pitch in. How many kids have turned out? Well, uh, today at our 9.30 meeting, we had approximately 400 kids show up. And of course, we could only just use so many, so we've had to turn many of them back. And we're, work we're trying to work in two shifts today, from uh, 8 to 3 and 3 to 10. So we're hoping to utilize some of those kids that were turned back at the 9.30 meeting. Have you had other students from different schools in town uh, offer to come over here? Uh, we've had the principals call, almost all of the principals in the entire city called and offered services and help in any way. But at this point, we, 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 we told them we just couldn't. And uh, we've got a number of our kids that were unable to uh, come in and volunteer their help. So therefore, we would appreciate it if no other school, no other kids from other schools would come in. Are you still shooting for a date line or a date of next Monday to begin classes again here at Morgan Park? Uh, things look very good, and uh, at this point I would say we're on schedule or slightly above, so it looks as though April 6th will be open. Attorney General Doug Head flew to Duluth today to inspect the school and set up a five-member committee headed by Mayor Ben Boo to review present Minnesota laws dealing with vandalism, arson, and bomb threats to public and private property.